this function where the domain is negative 1, 2, 5. Now this symbol is the symbol for absolute value. So for this one, the absolute value of x, if x is 3, then the absolute value of 3 is 3. If x is negative 3, the absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. So here, what we do is we do away with this negative sign. So for absolute value, we don't want the negative sign. We only take the absolute value, which is 3. Now, let's try this one. So the domain is negative 1 to 5. So the object here, which is x, we start with negative 1. And it goes to the function f. And we get absolute value of x minus 3. So when the object is negative 1, the image here is negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. When the object is 0, we get 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. And the absolute of value of negative 3 is 3. When x is 1, we get 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. When x is 2, we get 2 minus 1, which is negative 1. No, sorry. Here it should be uh, 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. We get 3, 3 minus 3, which is 0. Absolute value of 0 is 0. Four minus three is one. Absolute value of one is one. Five minus three is two, and absolute value of two is two. So from here we can plot the graph. If this is continuous data, we will get a line graph like this. The domain is negative 1 to 5. And the range is 0 to 4. If we have an equation, the absolute value of x minus 3 equal 5, how do we solve this equation? For this, we are going to make it into two equations x minus 3 equal 5 and x minus 3 equal negative 5. For the first one, we get 8. For the second one, we get negative 2. Now let's substitute 8 into the left hand side of the original equation and we get 5. If we substitute negative 2 into the left hand side of the original equation, we get negative 5. And the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. So the solution to this equation is 8 and negative 2. Look at this question with function notation. Given that function g maps x to the absolute value of 6 minus 2x, find objects with image 12. This is like having a equation y equal absolute value of 6 minus 2x. x is the object and y is the image. 
here y equal 12. And we are required to find the value of x. In function notation, we write gx equal absolute value of 6 minus 2x. And this is same as 6 minus 2x equal 12. Or 6 minus 2x equal negative 12. For the first one, x is negative 3. For the second one, x is 9. So the objects are negative 3 and 9. 